Hey everybody, this is Dell. I'm actually gonna go out and pick up another cab. I saw a deal on Craigslist pretty recently where, um, you know, it always happens, right? It's either feast or famine with these things. But I saw a centipede cab and it looked to be in pretty decent shape. I looked at the side art, didn't see the bottom yet, but I did see the side art and I've been wanting a centipede for a while. It was kind of like a, I wasn't searching for it, but it was there. Anyway, um, I did find one. I kind of found it, it had been posted for four minutes. I contacted the guy right away. Turns out he's only 15 minutes away from me, which is even better. Come follow me in this episode. It's gonna be kind of like a little vlog style here. Um, I don't know if he's gonna give me permission to film, but I'm gonna ask him and see what he says. But if not, not a big deal. We'll just take a look at it once I get it home. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay guys, I'm actually on my way out the door. I'm gonna head over to the ATM at the bank and then I'm gonna go pick this thing up or at least give the guy a deposit because you always wanna give the guy a deposit if you can so they can remove the listing because there's a lot of people um, on it and you wanna just be the first. So in this case, it's $120 for the centipede. I'm gonna go check it out and then assuming it's all good to go, I'll give him the money and then I'll just return with the truck and pick it up. So let's go. All right, I got my coffee here. <laughs> It's really, uh, for me, it's a little early. The first thing you want to do actually is remove the listing if possible. Um, get the cash in the guy's hand. You know, you have to kind of have a leap of faith here. Typically you go through PayPal, which is a little safer. Um, but you know, I asked him to remove it. He actually listed it as pending, which is fine. But sometimes when you get pending, um, a lot of people will snipe it. Sniping is like when you say, oh, I'll give you 200 bucks for it instead of the 120 that the guy's asking. And then he'll, you know, he or she'll go with the higher thing. But this guy seems pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna head over there now. I'm actually gonna head to the bank first, go to the ATM, like I said, and then uh, head over there, take a look at the game, and uh, if it works out, you know, we'll see if we can film. I doubt it, um, at least today. Um, usually I like to meet the person first, make them comfortable, and then if they're cool with it, I can film it. But um, at the very minimum, you know, I'll have this vlog style in my car. All right, guys, um, let me shut the camera off for now, and then I'll check back with you in a little bit. All right, just grab the cash, 120 bucks. We're heading over to the guy now. Okay, so I'm back at the house. I actually met the guy, really cool dude. Um, a little camera shy, which is fine, not a big deal, but I, I kind of checked out the um, cabinet. It's in pretty decent shape. The sides are good. You'll see um, tomorrow. I'm actually gonna go back tomorrow. So sometimes you'll do that. A lot of times um, you want to pick it up as soon as possible, but since it's local and, um, you know, we just worked it out that I was able to pay him now. I gave him cash. Um, I did take the manual. He did have the manual for it, which I'll show you in, in, uh, in later in the video. Uh, so I have the manual and I also took out the coin box. So any loose items and stuff, um, I just took out that way tomorrow when I go pick it up, I won't have to deal with that and taking everything out or sometimes I forget and it gets all jostled inside. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm actually driving my car to the rental place. I actually found a great deal at Home Depot. They have a thing for, uh, what is it, 20 bucks and you get 75 minutes, which isn't bad. And because it's only, you know, 12 minutes away, um, I can actually do that and swing it and bring it back in, in no time. Um, if I go over for any reason, it's only five bucks extra for each 15 minutes. So if I go over maybe half an hour, it's only an additional 10 bucks, not a big deal. All right, so we're in the pickup truck here. I'm gonna be done well within an hour. <laughs> so we're, let's go head on and grab this thing, throw it on the truck, and then we'll take a look at it when we get home. A few moments later. Okay guys, we have it in the back. You can kind of see it a little bit back there. We're uh, moving blankets on it and stuff. Um, I'll show you when I get off mainly, but uh, just wanted to mention, it's still a pandemic out there and you gotta be safe. So wear my masks, all that stuff. Have hand sanitizer in the car. Always gotta take the stuff with you when you're collecting stuff. You know, it's not over. There's still uh, stuff out there, so. All right, so let's go home, take a look at it, unload it, um, and we'll get a better detail on how it looks. Okay guys, so we are home. I actually jumped ahead here. Um, I didn't really film at the guy's house. It was just so much easier just to bring it home. So I just dumped it in the, you know, rental there, the pickup, and I brought it home and I just uh, put the leg levelers on. So typically I'll do that right away. As soon as it's up there in the car, I just put them on. So right here, looks like they worked on some stuff where you can see underneath, not really on this side, actually you can here, you can see some Bondo work. So they kind of did Bondo, it's a little sloppy and then they use the brush to kind of touch it up. It actually looks pretty decent if you look at it from an angle. 
Um, I may redo that eventually, but for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna polish this up, all good. And then what I really wanted to do is I wanted to put the really nice, um, they have a midnight version of this, which wasn't really official, but it's basically black here and then it has the pink outline and stuff um, so that it looks really dark. And then I was gonna pair that with the Willis control panel, which I already ordered by the way. Um, so that's on its way. I'm gonna redo the control panel, you'll see in a second. Uh, but I wanna give this, there's like scuffs and stuff. You can't get it all off, but it works really good if you use Magic Eraser and some simple green. It really does a really good job where it takes it all off. So I'm gonna do that. But you can see some of the team molding here is kinda of lifted off. So I plan to change the team molding to neon green to match the control panel. And then I may get the pink marquee that has this as well to kind of tie it all in together. Because the marquee does need replacing as I'll show you. And I do have a spare, but it's really not really up to par. It's really more, more wall art than anything else. In the meantime, I'll, I'll, let me reposition the camera and get you a quick close up of this so you can see how it looks. Okay, so I'm zoomed in pretty good here. And this is some of the scratches you see, like the scuff. It looks really good. You, actually, you can actually tell it's in nice, Nice detail because of the HD, but um, I'm just gonna take regular simple green. It's concentrated, it's just the default that they have in this package here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it down. Kinda, I usually spray on here a little bit too. This is Magic Eraser. And I'm just gonna go in like circle motions and just try to get it out. I'm gonna go here like that. Just to see what I can do. You know, as you go, you're just gonna spray it but I really want to get this little area to see how it comes out. All right, let's wipe it off with this. Sometimes I'll spray it a little more, wipe it down. A lot of times too, if you want to just wipe it down first, that's okay. So I'm just kind of getting in the general area here just to give it a clean, you know, nothing crazy, but just enough to get all this crap, dirt that just came up off the floor onto it. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna take this off. You could use paper towels too, that works fine. That looks okay, better than it was. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of this. I'll do a quick little time lapse getting the rest done and then I'll stand it upright and we'll do the sides. Okay, now we can take a better look at it. You can see I actually did the front compared to that. Now this looks like, looks like a thick overlay. <laughs> I thought it was vinyl, but it feels a lot thicker than that. So I really don't know, maybe they just did it to match the blue, but this is definitely coming off. I'm actually gonna get the Willis overlay. That's the one with the centipede over here. I think it's pretty badass. And the fact that it's neon green will match the T-molding once I do that. Um, the trackball, actually runs really good. <laughs> so this has definitely re been replaced by the people. I believe it was home use only for a while and then the guy said he had it for seven years in his garage. Turned it on and it fired right up. So I'm gonna change mine out to be a pink. It's like a translucent pink uh, lit from underneath. Um, I can't remember who sells it, but they do have the kit where I just pop it in there. It's all done um, and it will match the um, pink on the sides and also I'm thinking of getting the uh, marquee uh, to match as well that's reverse printed because this one here if you want to check it out <laughs> somebody put the cabaret on there this is actually a cabaret that somebody screwed in with these four they drilled four holes realized that they shouldn't drill holes in here at the last minute so you still see the holes in there um, and then spray painted plexiglass pretty poorly actually they just taped it off and tried to make it round so I do have a spare for this, which I'll show you. I'm actually gonna walk across here and get it. I actually had it as wall art that somebody gave me. So this is the one 
that I have that's wall art. It's actually way better than this up here. So I'm gonna temporarily put that in there. But the one that I wanna get for this one, I want it to have the pink outline. Um, I'm not really sure, if you guys can tell me in the comments, I'm not really sure the differences between the Irish version and the US version and all that stuff. But I want this one to be pink. I think that's a more rare one, especially with the side art. And I do have the pink side art already. So I want this to probably be glass, reverse printed, um, probably by Joe Sabo or someone, you know, it depends on price, but I want the glass one. This I would love to have pink as well, but I'm gonna leave it green. It'll kind of tie in a little bit with the team molding and stuff. And I'm gonna quickly uh, simple green this and uh, magic eraser it, and then we'll uh, come right back and take a look. Okay, so we're at a good stopping point here. So I redid the control panel. The only reason I did that is so I wouldn't get dirty, but I did clean inside here um, and did everything there. And I do have to change out, like I said, I'm gonna change out the trackball, the whole housing, where it's gonna be lit from underneath. And I'm gonna change out this button to be white. And, or, you know, I don't know, maybe most likely white, depending. I gotta really look at the color scheme of the control panel that I'm gonna get. Cone buttons, I do have replacement cone buttons that were proper. These here, actually, if you look at them, they're not the right ones. <laughs> These are the ones that, uh, that are, it looks like almost like for a cocktail. They're a lot, they're not as tall. This one's silver uh, right up here, and then this one's black. So, and you can see what a cigarette burns are. That's typical at that time period. So, and then of course, we'll take out this uh, terrible marquee that they uh, put in there, you know, because they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a hack job, but we'll put the other one. We'll make it look proper and we'll get some before and after pictures and see what we can do. There's dirt all over here. Right here, you can really see it. Um, and, you know, all along the top and stuff like that. All dirty. That should clean up really nicely with Magic Eraser. It will brighten up the artwork. Got to be a little careful because, you know, it's like Galaxian artwork where it does rub off. So you can't go too much on the uh, Magic Eraser, but it is the pink version. And then, you know, the bottom looks pretty decent. They did a pretty good job patching it up. Well, a decent job, not a pretty good job because it is a little sloppy underneath, but you know, I was fooled by the pictures and it looked okay. And I've seen a lot worse where the bottom's all chewed up. So leg levelers were intact. So I think that had a lot to do with it, that it protected the bottom. Looks like there is a scratch here. Some scuff marks. There's one going like straight down there. You see that right there? See if I can go in on that a little bit. There we go. So those scratch marks, um, they are in there. I can feel it with my nail, so, but you can't really notice it. There's some over here too. See where my finger is? Right there. So they're going the other way. Some more over there on the side. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit because I'm just a little too much in. But you can see there's some here, there's some there. So it's not perfect, but it is a survivor. And then up here, you can see as well, pretty good gouge there, but um, you know, so I will leave it right now. It is a survivor, but eventually, you know, maybe if I have time, I may do the black um, artwork so that it ties in really cool with the unique trackball and, and the team molding and all that stuff. Uh, the back looks pretty intact, believe it or not. The back door is there. It's screwed in, the typical, you know, people drill holes here and they have it all screwed in. Same thing over there. So yeah, so that's everything there. You can see there's scuff marks. These should come out with Magic Eraser, I'm hoping. These right there. Um, and then, you know, you have these around here. You can see they did some bondo work. If you get close up right there, they did some bondo work on the edge. So I may have to redo that. And it's okay, so it's decent. Like, you know, when you look at it, you know, not really zoomed in far away. It looks pretty nice. So I'm okay with that. Um, just the big stuff like this, I really got to take out and then we'll see what we can do about that, uh, that monitor burn. Man, that monitor burn is pretty deep there. <laughs> it's actually Pac-Man burn. If you go really close, you'll see. It has a high score. 
They always did that. I, it really didn't matter. Burning is burning, right? But I don't know why operators would turn it upside down just to try to like get more life out of it. But the high score down there is actually going to be burned and up here. Yeah, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to kind of leave it as is for now. I'll either replace the monitor with a spare that I have downstairs, you know, with a burn free tube or have a tube that has a lot less burn in than this. But this doesn't have what Pac-Man has where it has that, um, I guess, tint over it. This one is just fresh. So you'll see everything on this. But uh, most people that I know that have centipedes have burn in. But when you redo the monitor, you actually line it up so the burn in matches when it's on. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it looks really good after it's on. So, okay. I wanted to point out really quick that I do have the manual. I'm actually going to reach in here. This is in the coin door, but it's pretty dirty. I'm going to clean it with a dry cloth to see if I can get it off, but it's the manual that's here, the color version of it. It's pretty nice shape and you know, it's all original. So it's pretty cool that that came with it. You know, for $120, you really can't go wrong there. You can kind of see in the back, you see that? That's actually on the door. It has the original centipede paperwork back there, which is pretty cool. I haven't never seen that actually on any of the cabs because it's usually pretty beat up. So that's neat. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's take this off. I'm gonna quickly do a time lapse and clean it, put it back in, and then we'll uh, double check the back to make sure nothing's loose. You should always do that when you grab it because uh, it could be jostled in the car. It may work when you grab it, but you know you don't wanna get quarters stuck in the bottom or anything creating shorts. So you always wanna double check the back, open it up, do what you have to do to take stuff out, make sure everything's plugged in, and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do a time lapse and we'll get this thing clean. So let's put this sucker back in. Should look pretty good. The tape was on the bottom here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in exactly the way I found it. I guess I'm gonna use some duct tape. I'm gonna put it over that carefully so it doesn't tear that and then put it on the bottom. It should hold. Normally it's stapled in by the way, but I'm gonna do that for now so I can easily remove it and swap the monitor if I want to. And that should hold it in place compared to that weak piece of uh, electrical tape. All right, so here's the glass bezel. It looks really nice from the front, just dusty. The back doesn't really have flaking. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. Right here, this is just from rubbing on the pieces of wood when people take it in and out. So that's what that is. That's just wear from being taken out. Same thing down here. So that's normal. There is no flaking on this, which is great. So, and I'm just gonna not really go here. I don't wanna go over that too hard because I don't want it to lift up from where it was done, so should be okay. You know, I was debating whether I should buy this or not, a new piece. Um, I don't know, because I wanted to have the pink around it. I think it looks really cool, but I might just do it. But again, in the comments, if you know the difference between all the Irish versus American version and all that stuff, it only took off a little bit of dirt. Uh, anyway, if you know the difference between the Irish and all that stuff, versions of this, with the outlines, please, by all means, either email me at dellsarcade at gmail.com or just, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. You can see all the dirt that's coming off. But I really want to focus on the clear area there. Oops. But yeah, be careful where you lean this. You don't want to lean this somewhere where it shatters. <laughs> all right. So let me put this here. I'm actually gonna put something in front of it, should be fine, just in case. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna switch right now to a different angle where I can put it on. All right, so let's get this thing in there. 
That should stay in there just fine now that I taped it. Let's see, I'm just gonna grab it down here. And that should rest right on there. All right, that looks good. Way better than it did. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, magic eraser all this. So let's go ahead and do that, get some music going, and we'll do this side and the other side. Okay, so this is it. Came out pretty good. Uh, you could see where they touched it up, like right here, the paint and stuff, you see that? That's them. That was kind of already like that a little bit, um, but you know, they blended it in pretty good. It could be done a little better, so I may redo that when I do the T-molding. Not really sure right now. Um, up here, same deal, you know, they did all that. But it still came out really nice. You could see some of the scuff marks here. They came out. Um, so I can't complain, it looks really good. What I did was I did the outside first just to get all the dirt and everything off of it. Then I kind of went and did the teeth. I did that right there, which is the explosion. Anything that's white, you can see the scratches right here, but it still looks okay. So anything that's white I focused on first. Then I did the yellows, you know, and went like that and did everything. So it looks really nice. You can see on the bottom here where they did the Bondo. Pretty okay job where they painted with a regular brush, you could see the difference right there, especially in HD here. If I were to zoom in, you could see for sure. Yeah, so not the best, but I'm gonna leave it. It's acceptable for now. Um, I did miss a spot here. I could see there's some dirt here. So yeah, so I'll go over that a little bit and uh, freshen it up, but all in all, it's pretty, pretty decent side art. Okay, I wanted to point out here too that this here that actually can happen if you rub too hard with Magic Eraser. In this case, I didn't. This actually was there already. My guess is because people would put their hand here watching the game or whatever, and you know it got some wear on it. Kind of similar to what Miss Pac-Man has. But um, people use two hands to play, obviously, so it had to be just people watching or whatever. Maybe they were holding it like this, you know, when they're watching. Anything. Uh, it's pretty cool. So that was like that, but that's what it can look like if you do too much Magic Eraser. But that was already there when I started, so not too worried about it. So that's it, let me do the other side, and we'll return. All right, so here's the other side. This side's actually a little worse. <laughs> You'll see that, um, see like they painted all this. This whole thing must have been blown out, and they redid it, painted over it. Same thing on the bottom. You could see it right here as well. It's more noticeable. So they did do some work to it, but you could see it's yellowed everywhere. That will come out with Magic Eraser. So uh, this obviously won't, well, this might actually, this looks like it's just some sort of glue. Yeah, it's adhesive or something. That'll come out. These scuffs right here will all come out. This one I may have to blend in with Magic Eraser. We'll see all this stuff right here will come out. This is like scuff mark with black paint. I wonder if that'll come out. We'll check it out. So this is the left side of the cab. So we'll see if this comes out. I'll give it a shot. So let me do another time lapse here and then I'll show you the results. Okay, I wanted to focus on this real quick. If you look here, see right there, can you guys see that? 
That right there is, I don't know, it's some sort of paint or something on top of it. I'm gonna try to gently get that out with the magic eraser. Not really sure if that's a hole or if that's something on top. I'm suspecting it's something on top. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray a little bit on there and I'm just gonna scratch it with my nail to see. Oh yeah, that's coming out. So let me go ahead and use my magic eraser here. So you wanna just like, you try to concentrate on one little area, but then spread out at the same time. I don't know what that is. Looks like it was stored in a garage. It's possible that it got paint on it. Circle motions and kind of just spread it out. That way if you do do a little too much, it's kind of fixed. And then go ahead and just wipe it off. All right, so that's completely gone. No paint. Awesome. So now I'm gonna look around. I see uh, right over here, I just wanted to show you this as well, that, you see the scratches here? That wasn't me, that was actually, you know what that was? That was the person painting, and then after they painted, they were sanding, and they were trying to just sand this little portion here. You can see it's kind of where the paint kind of wasn't painted that good here, but when they were sanding, they just naturally, they're trying to sand here, and instead of being careful, they went across the paint, so. They went across the artwork here. So that's what it is. Those are actually scratches from sandpaper. <laughs> there are little speckles here too, like this here is paint that's on it. There's little holes. It's really hard to tell. I can't really tell if this is um, like that right there. Let me go up a little bit so you can see it. Yeah, there's like little speckles there. I can't tell if this is um, paint that's on top similar to that one. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, it's kind of dark, so I can't, really can't get any worse there. So I spray it, and then I just, I'm gonna work my way in there, go around, try it again. Oops. Try it, let's see. Now that one I think is a, uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell what that is. Let me just, that just may be a hole in the artwork. I really, it's really hard to tell. Actually, no, that's coming out. But it's being a pain. <laughs> it's a pretty thick spot there. Let me see if I can uh, add a little more simple green. You don't want it to be too dry, then it's like sanding it. Which it really is doing anyway. It's really, really, really fine grit. And that kind of came out better than it was. Wonder if this one will. I mean, you could be here all day if you want to be nitpicky. I don't know if this one actually is or not. That one looks more like a. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it really is. If that's. Uh, maybe I'll take a razor blade and just to test it. But I can't tell if that's a piece of paint or if it's just a hole in the artwork. And I could be here all day. It's pretty thick. It's almost like a bump. Let's see if we can get it out. See it? Not concentrating, going around. Yeah, it's coming out. This little yellow stain, just barely visible, but way better. Now I can go crazy, like it's all over. There's speckles. If you look over here, there's speckles there. Um, I'm not gonna go nuts, to be honest. I think it's okay. Those are pretty big ones, so I took those out. This one up here might be one worth doing because it kind of stands out. But I mean, this can be like a all day thing if we really wanted it to be. So the one I'm pointing to is up here, right there. So I don't know if I can get that one out. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, that one's coming out too. It leaves like a yellow, a tiny little yellow thing of where it was. I guess I could sand that more 
to get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, you can. Wow. And up here, can't see it, it's off camera, but. But yeah, so the speckling I'm talking about would be like right there. See that? It's all these little speckles. So somehow paint got put on here. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. It just looks way better than it did. Um, brightened up all the colors on it. So if you were to zoom out a little bit, I'll show you what I mean. So all the colors are way brighter than it was, especially all the explosions here and the little stars or warp stars or whatever that is. It's probably shots, explosions from being shot. Yeah, so looks good. I'm just gonna spend a little more time here. I'm just gonna brighten this up and then uh, we'll kind of uh, go to the marquee, which I've been dying to get to. Okay, so I'm gonna do the marquee. It's like the hood of a car, right? You wanna save the best for last. So I have this kit here. Should have what I need. These aren't security bits. They're just regular, I can't even tell. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like five-sided, so. All right, so let's take this and put it over here. And then should be able to just lift this out. And I'm scared to see what's behind here, but, oh, not too bad. Cool, so look what they did, guys. <laughs> they actually spray painted black behind it. Put, they, they actually drilled four holes on here. So you can see the hole right there is another hole right here. And they decided after they were putting it on, ah, that doesn't look so good. Ah, let's leave these out. They actually did a hole right here as well. So my guess is maybe that was like that actually for the cabaret version. I don't own one, so I'm not really too sure. They look a little too precise to be drilled by someone else. So it's very possible that they just drilled these two holes into the plexi itself and then put it on. But yeah, duct tape is holding it down. So maybe I'll be able to save this, maybe not. It is flaking, you can see. So this is gonna be gone. I do have a glass replacement that is in better shape than that, for sure. I do not know if this bulb is good or not. I should try to turn it on and see, but it could always just change out the, I think this is FS2, right? Yeah, it's a FS2. So I'll change that out. I have one downstairs, just gotta look for it. But. I am cleaning a little bit here, and then I'll clean on the bulb just to make it nice and clean, so it'll shine nice. But the bulb looks okay, it doesn't look that old. So, nice and clean back here. So, let me go ahead, I'll get that starter, um, just in case it doesn't start. It may start up slow too, and it's always better to change it out. Okay, so I did find a starter. I'm just gonna leave it right here for now because I wanna power up the cab to see if it lights up, but at the same time, I don't wanna risk screwing up the boards or anything if something got loose or if there's a quarter wedged in on the power supply. So I'm gonna open up the back. I did tuck the cord in when I was shipping it um, in the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it around. We'll kind of look in the back, take a little peek, make sure it's nice and tidy in there. And then I'll uh, close it back up and we'll see if it turns on. All right, so it looks like there's two screws. There's one here and on the other side. And I already opened this up. This one actually holds in place, but the one next to it does not. All right, so that's out and then it should just pull out. Let me just try to get a little anchor here. Yeah, see this one's not really grabbing anything. <laughs> it's tear, but uh, let me lean this over here on the wall without puncturing anything. Put that back in. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Uh, I really should vacuum it out a little bit, but it's not bad. It's just dust. There's nothing, there's nothing living in there. No mold smell. It looks all good to me, you know, um, so I'm okay with that. It looks fine, but what I will do is I'm just going to check the connections to make sure nothing's loose and there's no quarters wedged anywhere, because uh, that can happen. Uh, but in this kind of machine, the thing that catches the quarters, the bucket, is actually pretty big and it's not the kind that have a separate door like the over under. So usually because they have access to the door, there's no quarters in here, so I'm good. So this AR looks like it was rebuilt, sort of. 
Yeah, so these things right here look stock. Same thing with the diodes here. And look at this, check that out. That's the same material that the, um, the bezel is the cardboard one. So I guess, I don't even know where this goes to be honest. Maybe it stood up straight like that, just bent over time. But it looks like it was stapled in somehow. Hmm, I wonder, I'm very curious to see a stock one. Anyway, um, these are stock that all that stuff um transistors very well could be as well i can't really tell um this down here yeah um it might have been changed these might have been changed i'm not sure but down here those look stock those blue ones but this these right here look like new they're uh i want to say they're nichicon no 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 hold on yeah i guess they are uh, but these, there's one, two, three, four. There's only four of them that were changed. So it looks like this has been rebuilt at some point. I got to really look underneath to see if there's a sense mod or not. Um, but what I'm going to do basically is just, you know, make sure that these didn't get jostled at all. They're all plugged in pretty tough to take out. So they're, they're, they're not going to come out, I don't think. Um, there's a big blue that looks like the original big blue. Now the new ones from Arcade Shop, they're, they used to be black. Now they're actually blue. So you got to be careful. It would be nice to know, like as soon as you open it up, as soon as you see it blue, you're like, oh, that's the original because the new arcade shop ones are black. But the big blues that arcade shop sells are now this color. So, and it'll say big blue on the side. Uh, so you really just gotta look at the markings. This does not say big blue anywhere. And I doubt it has it because those are more recent. I guess the last year they started marketing those. Um, but this is original, so I may or may not change that. I'm not sure. Now the fuses all are okay. I'm not going to go through those, just making sure that nothing got jostled here. Any of the wires are hanging off, you know, from the transport. Same thing, I'm going to put that in there, make sure that's in. And then this here is the power cord and it does not have, it's very common, does not have the ground on there. <laughs> that really stinks, can you see that? So I'm going to have to replace this power cord. Um, and they're taping it up like crazy here. So I don't know what's going on, um, but it's pretty simple. You just take this out. This is a, let's see if I could show you. This is a connector here. You just, I'm just gonna push those out, recrimp the new cord on there, and then uh, pop it in. I'm not gonna do that today. I will probably do that when I bring it down to the basement. Typically it's screwed in. There's four screws that hold it in from the inside, but, People take it out so that you can just tuck it in there and it's easier to transport. So now I'm just putting it back in and I'll pop the thing back on. It looks like they did, check this out. I guess because the connector was maybe have been a little burned up. They actually did a mod where they tapped into the power of the harness and put it straight into this test connector right here. <laughs> it was worked on on 12, 13, 99 it says. Oh, also again on 47 2000 so these roms look like they were burned it says centipede uh those are original these two are burned uh so this board may need a little work uh looks like this this may have been capped i can't tell if that's original or not but i typically get the kit and i just cap it i'll take these out and recap it but if it's working i mean should be okay. I'm trying to look for socketed RAM. Like here's the socketed RAM right here. The EPROMs are probably bad. Um, pokey chip, I can't really tell. Yeah, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the back door on and then get it all buttoned up. Okay, so we're about to power it on. I actually plugged it in, you know, with the two prongs. I'm gonna change that probably off camera. It's really easy to do or maybe even in the next video when I'm doing the CPO or, you know, tuning it up inside and whatever. So let's see if this thing lights up. I'm gonna turn it on. It does work or it did work. This is the first time I'm actually turning it on with you guys since I brought it home. Hey, it turned on. Okay, so that works. And so does the game. Cool, so I'm gonna change it out anyway. I like having new starters in there. I won't have to worry about it. So let me go ahead and turn it off. I'm gonna pop this out. You just push down, put
push into it and then out and twist it. And I'm gonna put this one in here. Just for peace of mind, I know it's new. Don't have to worry about it. And these are cheaper in my, in my eyes. All right, let's see. All right, that lit pretty quick, do you see that? Because it's a new starter, so it's a little faster here. So let me go ahead and put in that marquee. So this marquee is pretty jacked up. <laughs> I don't know if I should even bother cleaning it. Um, you can see it has these like, these light leakage thingamajiggies. I mean, it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna clean it really fast for now. I just wanna see how it looks. It looks way better than the other one, in my opinion, way better. So the back of it, this is what was wrong with it. It had, I don't know if you could see that. Let's see if I'll go close up here. That's like a piece of tape, you see that? They put a piece of tape over it because it was cracking. And I was afraid you would see it through it, but you really can't tell. You could tell a little bit. You see the E is a little messed up right there. It's kind of crooked. So I guess I can live with it, but I would rather have one with the pink outline to kind of match the outside. But this does match this perfectly because it does have the green. So I'm gonna leave it, I think for now. These things right here, I mean, I guess I can reapply them a little bit. I mean, it's really coming off. This was actually given to me by a buddy of mine um, where he acquired it. This is not gonna fall out, so I'll just leave it there for a second. So I'm gonna just give it some Windexing. Um, you know what, I'll take it out. I'll just do this off camera on the floor here. All right, that looks okay. And then this is glass. So that's why I like it. And it's cool, check this out. It has like the uh, number, the part number on there. <laughs> so this tends to fall out. So I'm gonna kind of put this over here. The bit on that falls out, so. I could paint this. I'm not gonna do that right now. Perhaps in the future, maybe. But if it's presentable, it's gonna look really good. It's gonna be in between games. And right now for $120, I'm still not complaining at all. I mean, I had this, this was free. It's given to me as wall art actually because it was damaged. But considering what used to be there, this is way better. So there we go. You hear her? <laughs> she's my awesome daughter. She's only four, but she's cool. So, there you go, it's good to go. It's all set, and there we go, cool. Let me see if I can shut off all the lights, then you won't even see the burning. So, that's good. I left the other lights on on the side, it's fine. All right, cool, so let's check this out. I'll probably get you a little snug, more snug in there. And it looks okay, the monitor actually looks decent. I forgot to see what it was in the back. I'll have to check the footage or open it again. But um, definitely cannot see it in the dark. That's really what you want. So let me see. I don't think it's set. It might be set to free play because it's flashing. So let's see. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, it works. Very cool. And I remember, you know, I did try it before I bought it. So, but it just reacts so differently than I'm used to with the other trackball. I think the colors may be a little off, but it could be that I'm used to the palette on my millipede, which technically is incorrect for centipede. So it's using the millipede color set for that. They're altered, but it's close, just not exact. I'd have to check to see what level one and level two look like here. Cool. Whoa, that was close. I want to hear the free guy sound. Pretty responsive and pretty smooth. So the high is 138, 255 here. So it looks like it does save high scores. I'm not sure if 
I think this does save high scores, but I'm just trying to think if, uh, if free play saves or not, and if it does have a track during free play. It may not. It may, I'm not sure. Oh, man. So the screen is a little skewed. I can see right up there, it's kind of curved on the top. And you see that? So right away, I can just tell that the monitor may need some work. See how it's slightly curved? It's probably hard to tell at this angle. I'm gonna straighten up here. Right there. It's kind of like the nine is higher than the, on the left is higher than the one on the nine. It's kind of just like, it ramps kind of up like that. So, and then that's curved down. So I can tell just, you know, cause I work on monitors so much that it may need a cap kit or at least adjusting or something. So we'll see, we'll keep an eye on it. So that's it guys, this is it. Can you believe it? My centipede cabinet for $120. I'm gonna replace this overlay with the one that I showed you and I'll show it again here. That's the Willis overlay, which is the official, officially licensed by Atari back in the day. Um, and then it was reproduced by Rich at this old game. So I ordered one right away. And as soon as I get that, I'm gonna to go to work on it right away. I'm gonna probably order the trackball because I really want a lit pink trackball, which will tie in nicely with the artwork. And then eventually I may just get a new marquee. I'm not sure yet. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But the artwork on the side, Amazing, amazing. It's so dark now because I shut the lights off. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and just turn it on and you can see just how cool that looks. Look at that. That's amazing. I can't believe I uh, got this for what I got it for. So deals are still out there, guys. Just so you know, you know, I just got lucky. I saw this within four minutes, so we're good to go. Awesome. Very cool. All right, guys, so if you like what you see here, think about subscribing, you know, if you're new to the channel. Um, you know, I have tons of stuff, tons of playlists. This is gonna be the new restoration series uh, for Centipede called Arcade Hunting. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little different from what I'm used to doing, but it's still awesome and fun to do. So there you go. You could always hit me up on Twitter, at Dell's Arcade. You can see below, and there's also links in the description for you know, a lot of tools that I use and they are affiliate links. So I really thank you guys for doing that. Everything goes towards the channel. Just like you see, this is really the first HD, well, actually my second HD uh, 4K video that I shot. Uh, you can also catch me on Instagram at Dell's Arcade there. And you know, I have a thing on Facebook, Delusional's Arcade. Just type in Delusional's Arcade under the search bar on Facebook and you'll see the group and I'll just approve you to go in and then you can discuss show ideas and stuff like that. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will continue the series, like I said. So for now, I'm gonna enjoy playing this for a little bit. We'll put it downstairs and then we'll work on the control panel. See you guys in the next one. Take care.